my research we study blood flow restriction, which is a technique where you limit blood flow to the muscle during exercise and exercise with lower intensities than you typically would. Most commonly you see people lifting very light weight while restricting blood flow to their muscles. Um, in the lab that we demonstrated today, we did low intensity aerobic exercise. So cycling on a bike at a very low intensity, which typically wouldn't cause robust adaptations. However, when we restrict blood flow, we're able to see some adaptation there. And the reason it works is we're altering, altering the environment within the muscle um, by accumulating metabolites, limiting blood flow that's leaving the limb, and it, it, it leads to some pretty neat adaptations. I think the students at USF are really lucky in that we have a lot of tools uh, for teaching and learning that I don't think you're going to get at every program. Uh, for example, the blood flow restriction device is uh, it's the one that's used in, in a large majority of the scientific literature. Uh, the, the new fit stimulation machine is very new. I don't think any other lab, exercise science lab in the country, has that unit. Um, and the great thing about that is we use it for our research, but we also use it for teaching. Um, because we don't want to just tell students about these different tools we have. We want them to experience them and actually get some hands-on learning.